Hey guys, how you doing? This is Prophetess Tannis Sofuru with from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, I think I'm too close to the camera. Anyway, God put on my spirit to come to you and talk to you about these promotions, positions. and rewards oh and titles so i was so to tell you about the titles positions promotions um and rewards amen so it's that the devil is also a spirit just as god is a spirit amen so you have to be careful when these bosses and these jobs and corporations, they appoint you to positions where you shouldn't be a permanent. And it detour, it blocks your blessings. It can't stop your blessings, but it blocks your blessings. Man, so don't think these top positions and titles and emotions is the ways of God. It could be also of the devil. The devil trying to stop you from getting in the position that God has already planned for you. Remember, no one can stop what God has for you. Is for you. They can't stop it, but they can block it. You yeah. So you have to just be careful. Be careful. Be watchful. First Peter the fifth eighth say, the Bible say, be sober minded and be watchful. Amen. Be sober minded and watchful. Because your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking to devour you. Amen. The devil is always seeking to devour you. Now, I'm seeing a lot of Bettys. Now, when I'm saying Bettys, I'm not saying just Betty by the name of Betty. I'm just calling my Bettys. And if the Spirit is on you, you know that you are the Betty that I am calling you. Amen? I'm saying a Betty just got a position within last week in a month. Amen? But don't mean last week in a month you got a new position that brought you up to a higher position. Amen? It promoted you and gave you a different title. Amen? But be careful with that promotion because the promotion may even be a demotion because you will promote yourself in with the devil. Amen? You're getting a reward from your devil, the devil, the position from your devil, the spirit. Amen? And he's just setting you up to bring you down. He's setting you up, making you believe that this position you're in is old. This is where God wants me to be. But that devil has put you in that position to take you away from where God wants you to be, which is maybe a lower position or a higher position, but it's something that God wants, a position that God wants you in. So it's God's position that he wants you in. Amen? So the devil can block it. He can't stop it, but he can block it. Amen? So be careful when you accept positions just for money. We must eat. We must eat. But just be careful. Don't live just by the physical being, but live by the spirit. Ask God to give you discernment to know the good, the bad, the evil. Man, so when you walk upon this, you can feel it in your spirit because you are close enough to God. Amen? You're close enough to God where you can feel this in your spirit that the person that's giving you something, they're giving you this just to set you up for downfall. And just to set you in a position that God don't want you even to be in. God wants you to be in a higher position, sometimes a lower position. But whatever position God wants you in is the best position. So a lot of you betters out there. You're in a position that you're not supposed to be in. 
And that position is going to stop your blessings. You're going to feel, you won't see stuff going on around you. That's not of God. You're going to see stuff going around you. This bringing you down. That's making you sad, putting you in depression. And it's going to be this job and this promotion on this job. You're going to be able to feel it. You're going to be able to feel something that's wrong. God going to give you the discernment to feel that something is wrong on this job. Amen? And you won't have the nerves. You won't have the faith in God that you'll just be able to walk away from that job. Not knowing how you're going to eat. Not knowing how you're going to pay your bills, your water bill, your car note. Not knowing, but walking out on the faith of God. Knowing that this place is not for you. It's going to bring you up and it's going to slam you down, Betty. It's going to slam you down, Betty. And when I'm saying Betty, your name may be Linda. Your name might be Rosalind. Your name might be Sarah. Your name might be Tammy. Whatever your name is. Amen. You gonna be Betty today. You gonna be my Betty today. Amen. Betty, Betty, that promotion you just got, Betty. You know that's not of God. You know that promotion was not for you, Betty. Come on, Betty. Come on, let's get with it, Betty. Oh, you better, you better, you better. A lot of you better is out there. Be careful these titles. The devil are giving, us, giving to us. Be careful these job uh, positions. Promotions. Be careful these, these things. The devil is using this just to reel us in and hold us captive. Have you noticed when you get a position that's higher? Then you're supposed to, that guy didn't give it to you. You, you don't want to go to work. It's tiresome to go to work. You just don't want to go to work. You just don't want to go to work. No, you don't want to go to work. <laughs> yeah. It's like you dread to go to that place. Man. If God didn't put you somewhere, you're going to dread to go to that place. dread to go to that place. Y'all know what I'm talking about because I'm talking to some of you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When Monday morning come, you like, man, when Sunday come, you like, man, I'm so tired. But you hooked. It's eight. I'm brushing my Anyway, that's that piece of meat. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, you get ready to go to work. You're tired. You don't want to walk out of work. You already have said on that Sunday that, oh man, money coming. I hate this place. I want to live away from here so bad. In two years, I'm gonna be leaving away from here. Don't never leave away for 20 years and come. You still over there. Cause it's the devil got you trapped. And no matter how much money you make on that job, you still ain't got nothing to show for it. Can't you open your eyes and see something ain't right with that job? Something ain't right with that position. You just spinning your wheels like a hamster. We got to watch the devil. The devil trick you. He comes in titles. He comes in promotions. He comes in jobs. He comes in positions. He comes as a reward. He comes as a spirit. Today was be careful with the promotions, the positions, the titles, the rewards. The devil is a spirit just like God is. He'll give you something good just to bait you in and make you go high so he can crash you down. Always 
say, God, whatever this just happened to me, whatever position I'm in, whatever promotion I, I receive, whatever title I, I just gave me, if it's not of you, God, I ask you to remove it in your name, Jesus. Or remove it in your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Again, my name is Tanya Sofa the Way. Check out my website at www.tamysofalaway.com. It'll be on the bottom of the screen, on the video description. Amen. And I have a ministry that's going to be opening up on August the 4th, 2019 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on Wooddale. I'll have the address on this video. Um, just come by and love us. You know, let's get together. Let's do prayer and worship, amen. Um, prophesy, amen. Tell you what's going on in your life. When God give me the word, I'm just going to slap that word on you. And we're just going to have a Holy Ghost good time. Now, the room is small. Maybe hold maybe like 20, 30 people. But I'm telling you, it's going to blow up. This thing is going to blow completely up. It's no doubt about it. God has is on me, my life, my words. Oh, he's working on me and with me. God is good. He's going to blow this thing up. So, you know, it's going to be expanding. Amen. God starts off small and he is expanding. And his word is going to be expanding. And I'm so blessed to be able to speak his word. I'm so blessed that he will speak through me to speak to his people and prophesy to them and let them know what's going on in their life and what God has for him them. I just thank God for the gift. Amen. I just thank God for the gift of discernment and the blessing and anointing to be a prophetess. Amen. It's such a blessing from God. It's such a true blessing from God to be a true prophet. And when you're truly in love with God, amen, and He speaking through me to let me know what's, to tell you what's going on in your life, and oh, it's such a beautiful thing to see out in front of me. Well, I just go ahead and speak for God, and just speak for Him, and let Him know what all He has for you right there, for me to share this with you, just share this with you. Amen. The message that God has for you. Amen. God is so good and He blessed us in the way that He wants to bless us. I'm blessed this way. You're going to be blessed that way. Other person going to be blessed that way. Everybody don't have the same blessings. So nobody don't have to hate on nobody. Nobody has to be jealous of nobody. Nobody has to be envy of nobody. Because really, we all ain't nobody. Amen. We all ain't nobody. And God in heaven, He is everybody. He is everything. He is somebody. He's the greatest. He marvelous. He's wonderful. He's miracle. Oh Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You're so great. Amen. Amen. So I pray upon the healing on some of you, Lord, that has cancer, Lord, has infections, Lord. Oh, Lord, I pray, I pray the blessings of you upon these people, the people that need you, Lord, the people that are suffering, Lord, the people I see right now, they are hungry. They don't have enough food in their house. Their bills can't get paid. They've been working and they've been scuffling and they did all that they can. They don't feel like they're getting ahead. They're getting tired. They're getting weary. They're getting weary. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I want you to come over them and shake them and wake them up and let them know that you're not a God that lie. If you say you would do it, you would do it. Oh, Lord, glory, have mercy, have mercy, glory, Lord. We give you the glory and the praise and the honor, Lord, because you're worthy to be praised just to have life. 
just to have life is such a blessing because some people didn't even wake up this morning. Amen. Some of our families didn't wake up this morning. Let their souls rest in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We can't do nothing but thank you, Lord. No matter what we're going through, we know that we're going to get through it with you, Lord. You never said that it was going to be easy. Amen. You said we was going to have to dig out the grounds, the hard grounds for our food. You said that because of the sins that Adam and Eve did when they was in the garden. Oh, Lord, we inherited all. We inherited all. We didn't have to do nothing, but our fellow people did something. And Adam and Eve is the reason why we received what we received, the trials and the tribulations. But after there's a test, there's a testimony. So let's be joyful as we go through our trials and tribulations. Knowing that when we come through, the closer we're going to be with God. And I just thank you. I thank you, Lord. I give you the glory, the praise, and the honor because you worthy be to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kathy, it's okay. Your mom has made it over. And she's on the other side. She's with God now. And that's the safest place she could ever be. God bless you and God be with you. God heal your trouble and your lonely heart. It's okay. For all the Cathy's out there. No matter what your name is. Today your name is Kathy. Kathy. They're resting in the bosom of God. Amen. They're resting in the bosom of God. They are resting in the bosom of God. Amen. Amen. Oh, Joe, you've been laid off from work today. But God wants you to know that layoff is not for your, uh, the layoff is not for the worst of your life. Amen. The layoff is for the best of your life. Amen. Because he laying you off because he see danger. Danger is going to come toward you if you stay in that position. And danger is the most powerful danger. Amen. So if you will stay in that position, danger will come upon your life. Your life will be at risk. Amen. Your life will be at risk because if you stayed on that job, other things was going to occur in your life just from you being on that job. And that was going to put you in a bad position. And death would have been the result. So God moves. Woo, hallelujah. My pleasure is getting everyone. But God moves in his ways. Because he knows what's going to happen to us next. Amen. See, we can see to the corner. But God can see through the corner. Over the corner. To the corner. Around the corner. Side the corner. God can see every, every, everywhere. So God know what's going to happen to us. The reason why he don't want us to have this position. He don't want us to do this here. Or he takes something away from us. God is for our benefit. Amen. And sometimes God has to do things. That don't feel good for us. But God know it is good for us. Amen. So God sometimes take away things that feel good to us because God know it ain't no good for us. Amen? Give God the glory. Give God the honor. Give God the glory. Baby, I'm going to call you Tina. Tina, you're about to get married next month. Huh? 
You about to get married next month. But you know you don't supposed to be getting married to that man. You know you don't supposed to be getting married to that man. May God be with you. May God be with you. May God be with you. Give you the right mind. Let you be prayed up. Ask God for your answer. Go to God. Give him everything. And ask him for your answer. Because when two people marry, marriage is nothing to play with. Marriage is not a game. Amen. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Okay, that's it for tonight. That's all that we get from this video. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's all we get. I just love my brains. Um, it was dry up there, but it's okay. But uh, that's how you get out of this video here. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Uh, come back and visit us at www.tamisofanuway.com. Check me out on Facebook. Tammy Self of the Way, Work Her Outreach Ministry, my personal page. And you can check me out on www.tammycorny. Oops, that's wrong. That was my main name. Uh, you can check me out at www.tammysofluway.com. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. God be with you. Oh, come check me out at my ministry, girl. I'm gonna be up there blowing, and the Lord gonna be up in there doing that thing, healing and deliverance. That's right. Now, I'm going to open the doors on August the 4th at, oh, look on the website. It's like 10 a.m., 10 to 20 a.m., you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to sit at home, but we're going to be up in there, woo, getting blessed and delivered. Woo, God going to be out up in that place, y'all. I'm opening this thing up, and God is going to be touching people. God going to be healing people. We going to be having some businesses going on because it ain't going to be just me coming to no service. If you broke, you ain't got no money. We It's good to come and hear the word of God, but we need some money out here. We need to know how to survive, and we need to know how to take care of our family. We need some cash. So I'm going to tell you just like this. When you come there and get the word, it's going to be more than the word going down there on uh, Wooddale Boulevard. Amen. It's going to be more than that going down at World of Prayer Outreach Minister. Amen. Prophetess Tammy Sofa Louette. Amen. We're going to be having some business owners coming about. Amen. We're going to have some business owners coming about. We're going to have some dudes up in there, some chicks up in there. That's going to be just getting that GED. We gonna be having jobs popping up. We gonna be doing that thing because we gonna work together. We all gonna work together to make a whole. Amen. Where two come together, show. I gotta go more. Where two come together, show shall God be. Amen. And I don't care if we start out with one person. I don't care if we start out with two persons or three people. Amen. We gonna light this this room up. We gonna set it on fire with the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit gonna come in there and just touch everything, touch our lives. We ain't gonna be the same when we leave. We gonna be blessed and anointed, and the devil gonna be under our feet. Amen. We gonna have a holy good time, a holy ghost good time. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad to talk to y'all tonight. Again, this is Prophetess Tammy Sofa Lewis. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And come see us at World of Prayer Outreach Ministry. The doors will be open on August the 4th. I think the time is like from 10 in the morning to 12. Something like that. But we're going to have a Holy Ghost good time. Amen. Now, you know, this little place is not a big place. It's a small room. It's a small place. Probably a fit maybe like 20 to 30 people right now. So come early, come early, cause baby, we gon' we gon' have a Holy Ghost good time with one person, two person, three, four, five, six, seven. The Holy Ghost is gonna be up in there. God gonna be up in there changing some lives. So if you want your life changed, go to my website, www.tamisofaluwe.com. Again, it's tamisofaluwe. 
www.thelovingmama.com. I'll talk to y'all soon and I'll see y'all at the ministry. Love you.